What's up guys, Dustin McDangles back here with another video. This is the NHL Be A Pro series with Dustin McDangle guys. And we are again in the thick of it here. 53 games played with only 58 points. So we are slowing down a little bit and we are looking to get back on track here this episode. But before we do, if you guys have not yet subscribed to the channel, be sure to do so so you don't miss out on any future content guys. But in this episode, obviously we will be starting off here against the struggling Carolina Hurricanes, so let's hope that we can get things together here in this episode and start getting some wins because we're also sliding down in the rankings as well, so we need to pick it up here, put together a run, and see if we can make a run here for the Stanley Cup. Here we are, guys, starting off this game against the Hurricanes at home. We need a big win this episode. We haven't been playing well. We were able to get that one in the last episode with that injury scare, but... Um, definitely want to continue on here with the good gameplay as Dustin right there in the slot with a quick chance there to get the boys up, but the uh, Hurricanes able to make a nice play there. Teravainen back. Wow, what a way to start a game is Svechnikov on the back door. Cheese able to get that in. Where's our defense to start this game? And exactly what we did not want to do in starting slow. Teravainen. A broken play almost, and Truba doesn't pick up Svechnikov back door. Hurricanes make us pay early here in this game, and we're going to have to find a way to try and get our act together and come back in this game early. Still on this first shift, Dustin trying to make a difference here with this short side OP shot, not getting anything there. Saved by the goaltender, not too sure who is in net for Carolina. As Petrangelo gets a nice big hit in. On Sebastian Ajo, I believe that was. Might have been Svechnikov. Dustin with a chance here. Gustafsson is their goaltender. Right into his mitts as he makes the save and covers up. 2-1 to one here. We're still only one goal down in this first period. 3.57 left to go as we are hopping onto the ice on the fly. Dustin trying to get by. I don't even know who that defenseman was. Going to go short side OP. And Dustin gets the boys back up on the board. After the classic little spinorama turn to the middle, Gustafsson unable to make the save, and we get our 28th goal of the season. It's about time we get one on the board. We went the entire last episode without getting a goal, and it's about time we get a nice little screen there, a quick screen in front. I don't think it had much to do with Gustafsson not seeing the puck, as we're able to get that past him, high glove side. And we need to put together here a bunch of uh, good shots, good plays here too. Ooh, just nicked his glove too. Almost made the save, but again, we need to get things buzzing here. Get our boys back going here. And we also need to get ourselves picked up as uh, we haven't been scoring a lot lately. So let's continue on here in this game and let's keep on pushing Hurricanes. Into the zone, Sveshnikov. He gets railed by the defender. That would have might have been Truba on the play. We send Zabinijad off to the races. Why is he just dangling there? Oh my goodness. Never make a move with the blue line, kids. That's what happens. You go off sides. And people get rocked. People get rocked. Dustin. And we're going to find Panarin back door. Big save from Gustafsson. We're going to hit Slavin there on the play. Dustin. We're gonna, oh, I was going to give that to Zabinijad for the easy tap in. But unable to connect as people are just flying all over the ice. Penalty on the play. Charging most likely. What a big time hit. But big time play right there. As we almost find the back of the net. Here we go, guys. Defensive zone draw. 10-28 left to go. In the second period, we were able to survive that penalty kill, uh, but oh my goodness, just as I always say that, like out of big big instances, as I say things, bad things tend to happen as Fox here, Adam Fox, up the zone. I don't know why he's trying to dangle the defenseman there when he could have just beat him wide. Ah, it's just so frustrating. Puck Dustin. We're trying to get a move at the blue line, but it actually works for us. I'm going to get a nice little spin off there. Nothing there. Petrangelo. Ooh, Zabinish had found us. We're going to work at far point. Truba. Panarin. Weak angle shot. It's on top of the net. Crazy stuff happening here. As we got to go for the change, we're a little tired. Coach was calling for it. And we don't want to get that bad line change. So, uh, again, still close game here. 2-2. Two two, probably our last shift of the period unless there's another chance. But that's it for that period. So we'll move on to the third and hopefully come away with a win. They're on Slave and sending him to the ice as Tara Vinen coming up. Ooh, tried to get a hit in on him. Unable to really connect on that as, a, as Svechnikov cutting across. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I literally, I need to like, I need to pump down our fighting or sort of say never for a little bit because I'm tired 
I'm so tired of just getting in big hits and having to answer every freaking time for clean hockey plays. I don't care who I'm hitting. They should be able to step up for themselves. They're not fight at all. Just take a hit, make a play. Obviously, we win that fight. Dustin's Dustin's a big bully. He's not going to lose those fights often. Um, but, I mean, I don't... We fight the X-Ranger Shea, but I'm tired of having to answer for every single hit, guys. Like, I, I got to turn that down for Dustin and not having to fight every single time because it, it's just getting to the point of ridiculous. Trying to get through and unable to connect there. Because we need a goal here. We're running out of time. Dustin on the ice. Very extended shift here. Dustin with a chance. Slap shot off the post. And every time we need a big goal here recently, we just tend to keep hitting the post, guys. That is absolutely crazy. We're probably going to lose this game now. 4-2, to two, maybe 5-2 to two with an empty netter. But we lose 4-2, to two, guys against the Hurricanes, and it is because of that fight. Honestly, I swear, every time we hit somebody, we go to a fight, but again, at least we got a goal out of this game. We're going to move on here to the next simulation here. I'll turn down our fighting, uh, but man, that's that's just so tough, guys. So there you have it, guys, the simulation there. We were able to beat the Toronto Maple Leafs, <clears throat> lose to the Winnipeg Jets in overtime, so we got a point out of that, and then we got pumped by the Buffalo Sabres, which it actually takes us out of first place in the division, so this game against the Pittsburgh Penguins is a pivotal one to try and get back in the hunt of sort of getting back on track with sort of being in front in the division and man this is going to be tough here so let's go ahead hop into this game against Pittsburgh and see what we can do. Here we are guys away from home against the Pittsburgh Penguins. I put them in their sweet alternate jerseys but we got to find a way here to get a victory to stay on track with uh, pushing for the Metropolitan Division uh, lead here as the Devils have actually found their way to get out front as the Benajad gets an early shot in there on... Oh, nice hit there. I don't even know who he just walloped there, but um, Sutter. Ryan S Suter? Ryan Suter plays for the Penguins now. That's actually really weird to see as Malkin into the zone. I did turn down our hits as well, or not hits. I turned down our fighting as well, so we're not going to fight every single time. Holy smokes, guys. We're getting pumped on these first shifts to start the game as Malkin puts the puck in the back of the net as the Penguins were all over us here. This shift, oh, that was Edler, not Sutter. Uh, I apologize for that earlier, but Malkin, 25th of the season. Pittsburgh, great puck movement, good shot. Nobody there, back door. Zabinijad not on Malkin, and he's able to put that past. Uh, it's just jerking there here for the go-ahead goal in the first period. So, again, we are on the we're on the back foot here trying to play catch-up. we got to find a way to put it together. Here on the power play, guys, we have a chance. 6.51 left to go in this first period. We need a goal here. Can Heedle tie up? He cannot. Oh, we tried working that puck, trying to get that off Latang's stick, but he's able to ice that all the way down. So we're off to the races here. Heedle. Where's he going with it? Heedle. He's going to lose the puck. He's got to hold on to that. Find a way. Find a way. Go to the net, Dustin. Petrangelo. We use a little screen cutting across the net there. And I don't know if that had anything to do with Petrangelo getting that puck into the back of the net. But, again, we didn't get a point on that play, but at least we're able to get a plus out of it here. Cutting across the net there. At least we tie the game. Petrangelo, nice, quick little wrister past the goaltender as we will take a look here shortly at this this replay, I should say. We cut across. I thought he was going to shoot a go for the tip. That might have gotten the goalie, sort of thrown him off just a bit. Uh, Casey DeSmith in between the pipes. And Petrangelo, again, nice, quick little wrist snapper. Beats him high, a little over the glove, but at least it ties the game here as we move forward into this first period. She's going to find Gensel. Gensel actually loses the puck off his stick. Dustin trying to stay on sides. We're not off sides. We're going to rock Crosby, though. Look at that, guys. We don't have to answer for our hit. That's huge. We rock Crosby, and we don't have to answer for a hit. That is awesome stuff here. I turned it down to sort of we fight rarely. So if, if we don't have a fight here in the next like two or three weeks, obviously I'll bump that back up. But Dustin, we've got to step on Dumoulin. Nice little spin around the back door to Chris Kreider. And we're going to smash Demers in the corner with one second left in the period. Big chance there. Kreider almost finds a way off the spin around pass. But again, we are up one here against the Penguins heading into the second period. Cheap shot if you ask me. And I see him there in the corner. We're going to go for him and we knock his bucket off. Sending a message to him saying you can't you can't toss Dustin around like that. Ooh, as we almost sneak by there. 
with a potential breakaway, mini breakaway opportunity. We're off to the races. Petrangelo will find us. Dustin. We're going to find this streaking Zabinijad who he's going to lose the puck, but we've got it back door to Panarin. And that is picked off by Latang and goes the other way. We go for the change, but man, crazy back and forth play here. Oh, we got a fight on the ice too. <laughs> we'll just skip that, but big time fight. Petrangelo drop in the mitts right there. Edler, and you know, every time I take a big hit like that, there's always a big play going the other way, which we almost gave up there. Almost took out Malk in there. Because we're going to rock. <gasps> breakaway, breakaway. Oh my goodness, they couldn't get the puck through. Are you kidding me? D-Man doesn't have a stick. Oh my goodness. Is he going to ice? Oh my goodness, what a broken play there. As Latang comes up with the puck somehow. Gensel into the zone. We're going to rail him off the puck. He's going to find Latang. Latang with it now. Oh my goodness, Latang goes down. Big pile up here. Kreider with it. Why is Kreider with us? I guess uh, Panarin must be injured as Dustin. Nice little peel off. We're going to take the shot. Short side OP. Oh, goalie played it. We almost poked that into the net. As Edler, we're going to send him to the ice pack in as well. So we got a back check now, 50 seconds. Panarin must be injured, guys, as we're out here with Kreider. Oh, my goodness, Tanev with a shot. Big save, Shesterkin. And we're off to the races here. He, uh, Heedl, he's going to find us. Dustin, cutting across, going to go. Sh oh, glove side high for the classic Dustin OP shot. Just misses far, and we continue on this route of being tied. Can we get back on at least? Do we get another chance here? 39 seconds left in the game. We're getting one last chance to put the game on our stick, guys. It's Granlin. Oh, no. There's a trip. We're not going to be able to play. Oh, my goodness. If Pittsburgh wins this game, I swear it's going to go to overtime, but we're not even going to get a chance to go on the ice as we're not a penalty kill player. Oh, my goodness, guys. We're going to have to continue on here. They're not going to put us out. We're going to have to hope and pray we can hold on here. Oh my goodness, we have a chance here, guys. OT, 335 left to go. And we're on the wing here with Zabinijad and Petrangelo. We're going up against Malkin, Latang, and... Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Oh my goodness, I was about to say. Malkin, Latang, and Edler. As Edler gets a chance there, we're going to send Malkin pack into the ice. Coming for this puck, Edler able to walk away with it. <gasps> Petrangelo and Dustin. Off to the races. Oh my goodness. Selfish. Selfish hockey from Petrangelo. As he doesn't he doesn't feed us there. We're gonna give it off the boards there. Petrangelo finds a bit of Jen. <gasps> he missed the net. We gotta stay back. Crosby. <gasps> what the heck? Who where'd he come from? Where did he come from? Dustin. He's gonna send somebody pack into the ice. We're gonna find Petrangelo off to the races here. Rodriguez. He's gonna find Dustin. What's Latang doing? What is Latang? How do they have four guys out on the ice right now? I'm so confused. I'm so confused right now. Truba, how is Latang out there? Dustin, he gets mauled on the play. How's Latang out there? How do they have? How do they have four guys on the ice? What is going on? We're changing. Terrible change. But how is that even possible? They had four guys on the ice. We're going to a shootout, boys. Big time shootout. I know we're going to get a chance to shoot. But how was, how was Latang out there? That was absolutely crazy. Are we the first shooter as well? We're not. Okay, so who's the first shooter? Buz Buznevich. First shooter. He's going to go uh, for the shot. And that's going to be stopped by... Dis that was a terrible move. A little backhand, a little flippy to the net. But here comes Malkin. I'm going to say he's going to score here. Ooh, big saves to Sturkin, so that's nice. We'll take that all day. And yeah, are we going to go sweaty? Second shooter, Dustin. We're going to go sweaty. Forehand, backhand. Ooh, Dustin. Maybe we should have done something a little more fancier than just a forehand, backhand. He really stuck with it. It looked like the puck slid off our stick. If Crosby doesn't score, I'll be shocked. Big saves to Sturkin. Brandon Tanev, quick little guy who's overpaid, and he wins it for Pittsburgh. A little backhand, forehand, toey into the back of the net, and we lose this game. We do get a point out of it, but let's go ahead, take a look at team stats, team standings, and close out this episode. So here's a look at the team standings, guys. We do have, uh, the Devils have a game in hand. They lead the division by three points. We are 32, 20, and 6, so we have been dropping here the past couple episodes. Really starting to fall apart. It, it, I mean, we are still up there 
for a battle for the Metropolitan Division, but let's take a look here. I'm more concerned about the Eastern Conference. Because we're in fourth position, and as of right now, we'd be playing the Buffalo Sabres. They've only, they only have 67 points, so it is a battle there for fourth and fifth position, but I'd rather be a little bit higher, get some home ice advantage within the playoffs if we do indeed make it. Uh, but taking a look here at the team stats, Dustin has been able to put up points in the simulations, 31, 31 goals, 31 assists for a total of 62 points in 58 games. We are slowing down a bit. Panarin is catching up, but he might be injured, and who knows how long he will be out. Let's take a look here at the league stats. Dustin is probably dropping, and yes, he is. He's dropping down there. 62 points. We're eight points behind the league, which is Patrick Kane, so... Definitely want to try and pick it up here in the next couple episodes. We do lead Lafreniere by a bit as well, so the Calder is still in good hand, but the heart and things of that nature are looking a bit slim right now. But that's going to be it for today's episode. If you guys did enjoy it, be sure to drop a thumbs up on this video. I hope you guys have a good one, and as always, stay dusty.